Welcome to People's Kids from Home. My name is Boomi and this is Storytime. Today we will be reading Ten Eggs in a Nest, written by Marilyn Sadler and illustrated by Michael Fleming. When the hen had laid all her eggs, she was very excited. She was going to be a mother. Red Rooster was excited too. He was going to be a father. How many eggs did you lay today? Red asked Gwen as he tried to peek into her nest. Puck, puck, Gwen clucked. It's bad luck to count your eggs before they hatch. Red did not want Gwen to have bad luck, so he did not count her eggs. He made her a grass salad instead. Gwen was eating her salad. Then she got a big surprise. One of her eggs hatched. It was one beautiful baby chick. I will go to the market, said Red, to buy our new baby one worm. Red strutted into worm world. He held his head high. He puffed his chest out. Pinky Pig was behind the counter. I will have one new baby chick, said Red. Pinky was happy for Red. It could not have happened to a better rooster. This one's on me, said Pinky as he dropped one worm into Red's bag. Red could not wait to feed the worm to his new baby chick. But when Red got home, Gwen had a surprise for him. Two more baby chicks had hatched. One plus two makes three baby chicks, said Gwen. One, two, three. You could knock me over with a feather, said Red. Red gave Gwen one worm when he hurried back to Worm World. I need two more worms, Red said to Pinky. One, two counted Pinky as he dropped two worms into Red's bag. One, two, counted Red as he dropped two coins into Pinky's pocket. Red could not wait to feed the worms to his new baby chicks. But when Red got home, Gwen had a big surprise for him. Three more baby chicks had hatched. One, Plus two plus three makes six baby chicks, said Gwen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh dear, said Red. Oh yes, said Gwen. Red gave, Red gave Gwen two worms, then hurried back to Worm World. I need three more worms, Red told Pinky. One, two, three, counted Pinky as he dropped three worms into Red's bag. One, two, three, counted Red, as he dropped three coins into Pinky's pocket. Red could not wait to feed the worms to his new baby chicks. But when he got home, Gwen had a great big surprise for him. Four more baby chicks had hatched. One plus two, plus three, plus four, makes ten baby chicks, clucked Gwen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Red was speechless. You could have knocked him down over with a feather. Red gave Gwen three worms, then hurried back to Worm World. Pinky had four worms ready when he flew through the door. One, two, three, four, counted Pinky as he dropped four worms into Red's bag. One, two, three, four, counted Red as he dropped four coins into Pinky's pocket. Red could not wait to feed the worms to his new baby chicks. And when Red got home, Gwen did not have a big surprise for him. There were no more eggs to hatch. Oh, look, he's feeding his kids the worms. 
Finally, Red got to feed his new baby chicks. He fed them each one worm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten baby chicks in our nest, said Wren, said Red. Gwen was happy for Red. It could not have happened to a nicer rooster. This one's on me, said Gwen, as she planted one peck on Red's cheek. Oh, look how happy he is. Thank you for sharing this time with us. And remember, we're going to be back with more stories next week. Can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye now.